Okay. So today is Sunday on Labor Day weekend and I decided to take a hike in the woods because I told you guys I'm an avid hiker and I'm exploring things. I'm not very far into the woods. So during the course of this uh, video, you're going to hear car engines and you're going to hear car sounds. And, uh, but I'm just, I'm on, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm walking up this huge hillside here. It's, it's magnificent. But that's not what's intriguing about this. I'm, I'm getting to that. I, I want to show you a couple of things that I stumbled upon during my exploration here. And I'm going to try and get up to that part right there and show it to you. Now, there's a lot of fallen timber here, as you can see. I don't have to get all the way up there. Well, I, I think it's too steep, and I don't think my camera's going to be able to pick it up. But there's a lot of shell up there. There's, there's a big, giant rock right up at the... Just right, below, just right above where the roots separated themselves from the ground when, when that tree fell. But anyways, let me show you something else. If I can find it, and I just lost it. Okay, over here. All right. So, here's another piece of shell rock right here, okay? That is significant. I'm, I'll get to it in a minute. Just look how beautiful these woods are. When you walk into the woods here, specifically in Pennsylvania, the great thing about it is we have so many variety of tree and trees, and they're just, there's such an abundance of them, and there's so many different kinds, but they all look the same when you just look at them for an instant. But upon closer examination, of course, that's not the case. This appears right here to be a dead cherry tree. You can tell by the bark. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm guessing this is cherry. Looks very, very similar. The bark is very similar. Here's a nice little ravine, kind of a ravine. Looked like it was part of one. But here's a, I wanna show you this weird looking tree that I, that I discovered. I can't. Here, here, here's some more rock. I figure out at least my place because I, I know I'm trying to figure out where that rock's at because I want to, or not that rock, but uh, this interesting. Tree I discovered. I think it's more down this way. Let's let's go down. I got to point my camera down, guys, because I'm I'm going down a really steep hill and I don't have proper shoes. Here's another rock. Anyway, my shoes. I, I'm wearing Skechers, and trust me, they have seen better days. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Uh. Much fallen timber here, and they. What's really weird about this is how they fell so perfect. Do you think maybe it's a tree structure by Bigfoot? <laughs> no. Okay. Wishful thinking, I guess. Okay, it's over there. All right. Just look at all the magnificent species of ferns too that grow in Pennsylvania on the forest floor. I used to, if you dig these up properly, you can put them in your yard and they will grow again. They'll come up annually. I gotta make this quick because the highlight of the video is yet to come. But I just want to show you this really weird looking tree. I call it a hobbit tree. Take a look at this. Right here. There we are. Look at that. 
You see that? You could call it the Trinity tree. Three big trunks grown out of that. Have you ever seen something like that before? And is it big? Way up there. Good 40, 50 feet. Look at that. There's a hole way back here. See it? Probably some animals living back there. Probably a raccoon or something. Look at that. I've never seen a tree shaped like that. All right. So, while I'm categorizing what kind of plants are out here, what kind of trees are out here, I stumble upon something that has an odd shape to it. Which to me, eerily resembles an Indian burial mound, a small one, but perhaps a burial mound nonetheless. A lot of moss on these trees that have fell down here. In the midst of all this fallen timber, I came across this. There she is. Now, if you look at that, it's almost perfect. I mean, it's, it doesn't look like a natural occurrence. Just look at it. Here's the ground, okay? And I'll go slow with my camera. Here's a close-up of it. Just look, look how thick it is. Look how round it is. There's some more shell over there. There's some more shell rock, okay? Indians would have placed these in these mounds to raise them like this. There's not another shape like this on this whole entire side of the hill. Does that sound like a coincidence to you? Okay, I'm wrong. Okay, so it's not, maybe it's not a, a burial mound. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong. There's a hole in there. You see it? But it sure, it sure resembles one. It's, it's, it's small. What's unique about this is only the Indians in the Ohio Valley region built mounds. The rest of the Indians strewn throughout North America and Canada did not. I'm sorry, but this eerily resembles an Indian mound. It just does. It has all the characteristics of a mound. And you say, why are trees and shrubs growing out of it? Because it's in the woods. It's not out in the middle of the fields like most of the mounds are. Just look at this. There's the top of it right there. And here's the very top of it. Look how round and pointed it is. I don't know if the camera's doing justice to it, but... And then when I go down, it flattens out. And there's the, there's the forest floor right there. There's no, this, this is not a remnants of a, of a giant tree structure, I'm sorry. Because if it was, it wouldn't have left a mound. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm wrong. Prove me I'm wrong. <laughs> I just, I'd, I'd love to have, uh, have your opinion about this. Leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. See you in the next video. Have a safe Labor Day weekend, guys. Thanks for watching.